per carry. That's that's the big one that you look at, and, and that's an, uh, that's a great number right there. Very large first half for Stephen Whitfield. He's living large. Second and six from the 41. Bowling Green's defense trying to dig in. This is Savon Edwards, the freshman. Willie Gibson said, I got you horse collared, young man, but Edwards managed to wiggle his way for about four down to, we'll call it the 38 yard line of Bowling Green. Uh, that's got to be a little bit of a confidence builder for Edwards. He, he fumbled last week in, in his first carry, takes his first carry this week, does a good job getting the run. As we look at another final here, the MAC takes, a, takes their lumps from the Big Ten. Michigan State finally gets a win this year. And we'll go through all of the numbers from around the Mid-American Conference and around the top 25 on our Las Vegas halftime report. And don't you forget about Las Vegas Bowl right. 3 coming up on December 15th. We'll tell you about that. Savon Edwards on the toe of the football needed to hit the 35. That was the line he needed on third and four. Didn't quite get there. Came up at about the 36-yard line as Bowling Green's defense put the stop on him there. Decision time, Ron Cooper. Go ahead, Coach. Yeah. You're at fourth and one. I don't think there's much of a decision here. He's going to go for it. Cooper proved last he's week. Also he's also going to talk about it. Well, he is going to talk about it. Make sure he gets it right. But uh, he will go for it. Let's see what Michael Armour is going to come up with with Ron Cooper and Richard Wilson on that Eastern Michigan sideline. Hey, don't you go. We've got a good one. Bowling Green by three when we come back. At Easter Seals, we help a lot of people take their first steps. Some of the silver and green eagles of Eastern Michigan on homecoming here in Ypsilanti. Look at the ball club. Big play, first half. 9-6 Bowling Green, fourth and two Eastern from BG's 36. Michael Armour with split backs. Whitfield, first down, Eastern Michigan, as he drove his way inside the 35, down to the 33-yard line. Kevin Beverly, Mike Gillette, Matt Gregory, all with that good push on you linebacker types. Well, you got to have that. If you're going to get a, uh, some yardage, some tough yardage on fourth down, you got to have those big hogs up front getting that push on the linebacker types. They did a good job coming off the ball and pushing people out of the way that time. Cleared it open for first. Stephon Whitfield, who's having a really nice game for the Eagles today. Closing in on that 100-yard barrier here in the first half. Eastern Michigan keeping their drive alive. Armour sends Whitfield in motion. Savon Edwards back from the slot to the tail. Armour, quick drop. Inside screen, Stevie Clay. Look out. 25, 20, 15. Finally written out of bounds. And the bay stepped out at about the nine. Stevie Clay, Mr. Excitement in Ypsilanti, down to the nine-yard line. That's a quick 24 yards in Eastern Michigan first down. That's a nice counter punch by the Eagle offense. They've been giving you Whitfield, Whitfield, Whitfield. You're wondering, when's Clay going to get the ball? Well, he just got it right there. This is a play that they ran with limited success last week, but they didn't have that fake the other direction. This, this bought uh, Clay some time, got him a little open field. When he gets in the open field, boy, there's no one more dangerous than... Clay. This Eastern Michigan offense is very, very diversified. You're seeing that on display here in the first half. Stevie Clay, 5-5, but a pack of dynamite for Ronnie That's Cooper. Right. Steven Whitfield. Oh, did he run into Vinnie Palco, who stood him up at about the seven-yard line. Palco got some help from Jason Woolard, his inside linebacking mate, to uh, take him down. And Greg Sepek, too, at about the eight give uh, Stephen Whitfield only about one and we'll call it second and goal from the eight. Once again, Vincenzo says enough of that stuff already and puts a big hit on uh, with the help of Jason Woolard. These two guys are doing a great job in the middle this year for the Falcon defense. 34 tackles for Palco, 32 for Woolard. See what Michael Armour has on second and eight. Football at the left pass. Stephen Whitfield, no room there as he is dragged down. Palco came to a uh, make part of the stop but also getting some help with Steve Hartley Hartley's one of the nickelbacks in uh, Paul Ferraro the defensive coordinators defense he's a third year sophomore out of Lyndon McKinley there came up and supported the run real well he did a great job coming up and uh, actually you know who, who made that play was uh, 64 Damon Smith for holding that line of scrimmage and making Whitfield stop in his tracks didn't have nowhere to go and then the pursuit gets there for the defense 
15 totes of the football, 95 yards. That's a very sweet 6.3 per carry. We go inside four. Eastern Michigan looking to take the lead. Armour setting up screen left. Whitfield at the 10. Great line. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. Stephen Whitfield. Well, two great blocks. It looked like they were, Bowling Green was going to have people there. Matt Gregory, the center on this little screen play, comes out, chops the legs off the defensive back, and Whitfield has nothing but turf as he heads into the end zone, gives the Falcons a lead here, or I'm sorry, the Eagles the lead, 12-9 to over the Falcons as we await the extra point. Great drive again. Fourth touchdown of the year for Stephen Whitfield. He had three of them last week against Central Michigan. Matt Weiner out to try to add the PAT. Weiner missed his first attempt. This time he uh, bangs it bullseye through the upright. So Eastern Michigan, as we go on the roller coaster, back on top. The Eagles, big touchdown drive culminated by the touchdown maker, Stephen Winfield. Don't go away. Eagles on top of BG by four when we get back on homecoming to Ypsilanti. Ask any pro why he does it and keep saying it's the ring introducing the officially licensed pro team rings from Balfour now you can ring the card shuffled the deck on Devon battle right there in open field he had it a chance to make the play in before short, uh, be in short of first down yardage right here. You got a breakdown. Up, oh, falls down. And Card's a big receiver for the for the Falcons. He caught 33 passes last year. That was his seventh catch this year. Good weapon out of the backfield. For absolutely. The Tough young kid, Darius Card. Absolutely right. Average better than 10 a reception last year. That 15 at no problem there. Ryan Henry, 146 yards on his nine completions. First and 10 for the 26. This is Courtney Davis. Stepped inside the 25 where he was stood up and knocked to the ground. In on the hit is Avery Brown for Eastern Michigan. Avery Brown certainly uh, coming off that defensive end spot of his. Brown out of Dearborn Heights, Robichaud, the freshman, 230-pounder. Robo Reese McCaskill was in on that one, too. He's doing a good job controlling traffic in the middle there as the Falcons are trying to run the ball. Inside, two minutes left. First half of play as you look at big Reese McCaskill. Eastern Michigan trying to maintain this lead. They're on top of Bowling Green, 13-9. Second and eight Falcons from the 24. Henry on the roll right. Zips that out route. Ronnie Red. Did you see the feet? Excellent catch. First down at the 13-yard line. Ronnie Red, second catch of the day. If you missed it, as we came uh, on the air today with Bowling Green's first play of the contest, he took care of his catch in his 38th straight contest. Yeah, he did. And I, I think that's a nice thing for Coach Blackney to just throw in the ball on the first play, get that thing out of the way so that the team and... and Red himself doesn't have to worry about it. They can play some football. And they're doing that now as they're driving on the Falcons, or on the Eagles, with only 127 left in the half. Bowling Green has all three of their timeouts left. 11 more yards from Henry to Red. Motion out of Ramir Martin. This is Courtney Davis trying to get to the corner. Needs a block. Steps inside a tackle. Down to about the 10-yard line. He stepped right through a tackle of Vachon Adams at about the 15. It's a good thing he did because Adams was coming. Well, he was going to try and make Had the him big lined hit. up, didn't he? Had him in the sights. Just missed him. Uh, good job of running there by Courtney Davis. Courtney Davis give him about three. He's out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. The 180-pound sophomore. Clock moves. We're inside 60 ticks left in the first half. Cal Bowers, a 270-pound fourth-year junior, out over the football for Ryan Henry. Second and seven, Bowling Green at the Eastern 10. Henry roll right. Looks to Martin. Oh, Excellent play. defensive play. Outstanding back down from Eric Thompson. Thompson came off that corner, read it beautifully, and the, the big swat down from Thompson to the Ryan Henry pass. The, the Eagles had something on a, a tendency here because Bowling Green likes to do this down in the red area. And Thompson knew what was coming, stepped in front, made a great play knocking the ball down. And Bowling Green is now looking at third down and about six, seven yards here with 40 seconds left in the first half. 
Henry now 10 to 16, 157 yards. Keep in mind, the yard line to make here is just inside the four. That would keep Bowling Green's drive alive. Courtney Davis. 